Welcome back to our channel, Rust and Dust. I'm Ryan. And I'm Jess, and we're gonna take this dresser that we bought at auction for $25 and flip it on Facebook Marketplace for a profit. We were able to score this dresser at an auction for just $25. It's a small four foot dresser, but it was in great condition other than a few scratches and we knew we could easily sand those out. You never know what you're gonna find in old dressers and one of the top drawers actually had a small mirror taped to the back of the drawer front and that's something we've never seen before. So if you have any idea as to why that's there, let us know in the comments because we're curious to know why they did that. We started by cleaning the piece with Dixie Belle's White Lightning and then came back and wiped everything down with a clean wet cloth and removed all the hardware. We wanted to take this piece down to bare wood so we had to remove the existing finish using our orbital sander with an 80 grit sandpaper. All right, y'all, so if you're just getting started with this furniture stuff, an orbital sander is a great investment. They're not very expensive and we use it all the time. Then using a little multi-tool, we just popped the front of that base off. We knew we weren't going to use the existing base on this piece, so we didn't sand down past our cut line. After we sanded everything down with the 80 grit, we went back over it with a 120 to smooth out any roughness. We also sanded the drawer fronts down with the orbital sander using an 80 grit and then going back over it with a 120 grit. Those details on the sides were a little bit harder to get to, so we used a detail sander to get right up against all the edges. And then our project manager came on site to make sure we were doing a good job. We used our Craftsman circular saw to cut the base off of the bottom of this dresser. Then we used some wood glue and a scrap piece of wood to fill in this gap and add extra support for the legs. We needed to add some extra supports to attach the legs to, so we took a scrap piece of wood, drilled some pallet holes, put some wood glue on it, and clamped it to the rest of the base. Then we added a few screws. While the glue dried, we went ahead and drilled the holes to put in the legs that we purchased off of Amazon.
And then we flip some furniture. Eventually. We wanted to go with a whitewash on this dresser. And if you've seen us flip the mid-century modern nightstand set, then you've seen us use this technique before. So we're using Dixie Bell's chalk paint in the color sandbar, and we're mixing it in a 50-50 ratio with water, um, which thins it out and makes it more like a wash. It's kind of like a faux stain, so you still see the wood grain showing through, but it gives it nice even coverage and it dries really fast. I painted the wash on using my favorite zebra brush, and then Ryan came back and wiped it off with a cloth. We also love this technique because it really gives the wood that raw wood, bleached wood look that everybody loves right now, but it doesn't require the use of bleach and it's such an easier process. We got a thin piece of poplar and I ripped it down the center on the table saw. We used it to trim out the dresser to give it a more finished look. We glued the two side trim pieces on, and then on the front section, we did a combination of glue and some little brad nails to finish it off and hold it secure. We used the same whitewash technique on the trim piece and we ended up having to go back and cover the nails with wood filler, sand it down and do the whitewash technique again. For the top coat, we used Dixie Belle's clear coat in a satin finish and applied it with a sponge applicator. And I was a little worried that it was gonna look too shiny, um, but it ended up looking great whenever it was finished.
For the hardware we chose, we had to drill some new holes. We used this hardware jig that we got off of Amazon that it helped us get perfect placement. When we saw the finished piece with the legs we had bought off of Amazon and their existing finish, we decided that it just wouldn't work. So we gave them a scuff sand and then gave them two coats of Dixie Belle's silk mineral paint in the color Anchor, which is black. That way it would match the hardware. All right, so we picked this piece up at auction. We ended up getting a good deal, got it for 25 bucks. Uh, by the time we paid taxes and fees for the auction, it was closer to 30, but it's still a good deal with it being solid wood and the top three drawers were, had cedar. And then with the hardware, um, which just cost about $25 and $20 for the new legs, the trim piece of poplar that we added was only $10. Um, so that pitter cost at $85, but then when you account for like wear and tear on your brushes and um, the paint that was used in top coat, um, we're probably at about $100 in cost. So I listed this on Facebook Marketplace for $350. And, and sold it. <laughs> we like sold that. it within six hours, um, which seems to be what happens with dressers. So we're on the hunt for more of those, but... Um, we sold it for $350 within six hours on Marketplace, so that leaves us with a profit of $250 and some Chick-fil-A for supper. Oh yeah, Chick-fil-A is always good. <laughs> so we love how this piece turned out. The whitewash was really pretty and I think that's a pretty popular choice right now. So <laughs> Poplar. Poplar is poplar. <laughs> and it was poplar wood. So there might be lots of whitewashing in our future since that one seems to sell so quick. But thank you guys for watching. And if you like these flips and want to see more, just hit that subscribe button and comment below and tell us what you thought about this piece. Stick around for the next flipping video. <laughs>